I bought this corner desk for the PlayStation and the virtual reality kit, so it's, you know, kind of out of the way, and we won't bump into it as much. And I went with this one because I like the way that it looked. This is the teakwood color. It's got nice black accents on it. Uh, it's also very sturdy. The uh, legs are made out of metal, and uh, it had a keyboard tray, uh, which a lot of them, the corner desks, did not have. And it also has a shelf here on the bottom, which is another thing that a lot of the corner desks didn't have. That's a 15 and a half inch laptop. And from the far corner to the front of the desk is 29 and a half. That's 10 and a half, that little square piece there. It's 26 and three quarters to the bottom of the keyboard tray. And the keyboard tray is very easy to remove. So you've got a small form factor, an older Dell desktop. Uh, the shelf is six inches, not including the metal bracket, which is about a half inch wide. And from the bottom of the floor to the, I mean from the floor to the bottom of the shelf is 11 and three quarter inches. And from the top of the shelf to the bottom of the keyboard tray is 13 and a half inches. There's plenty of room on the top of the desk for the PlayStation, but it won't fit under the shelf or on the shelf in the vertical position underneath the desk. Uh, so another thing I like about this, I've been playing around with it. You can put some hooks onto the legs. The legs are nice and strong. That's the controller, and I've got a cup holder from a different desk that I'm playing around with. Uh, so it's a nice desk. It's very strong. doesn't take up a lot of space. I think it looks nice. And uh, what follows now are a couple of assembly tips. The assembly looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward because there's only like five pieces. The two desk legs, the top, the bottom shelf, the keyboard shelf, and the two keyboard rails. Uh, the instructions look pretty good and they give you the hardware and Allen wrenches that you need to put the desk together. If you decide you don't want the keyboard, it's very easy to take it back out after it's assembled because the uh, keyboard rails are freestanding. You just have to take the eight bolts out. The assembly is very straightforward. Uh, just one little tip is that when you put these bolts in there, whether for the rail or for the legs, put all four bolts in there, finger tight, and then start to tighten them down. When installing the bottom shelf, as with the other components, it's just easier to put all four screws in there first and then go back and tighten them.